hello everyone let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly remember we are providing the real and the complex solutions x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 equals 20 the next step is to bring 20 to the left so x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 minus 20 equals 0. Now from here, let's see what we can do. Can we express 20 to appear in this form? The answer is yes. So that means we write x to the power of 4. Then we have um, plus x to the power of 2 minus open bracket for 20 we'll be writing 16 plus 4 then we equate to 0 okay so now 16 can be written in this form and 4 can be written in this form so we have x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 minus open bracket 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 2 everything equals 0 so by looking at this now you will see that this and this are in the same form if we open the bracket then we'll have x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 2 equals 0 okay so if this is the case then we can start rearranging so that we have x to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 then i'll pick this plus x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 everything equals 0. now we can simplify this first and then simplify this after okay so to simplify this, I want us to apply difference of two squares. And to apply difference of two squares, we have to break it down. x to the power of 4 is the same as x squared to the power of 2. Then minus 4, 2 to the power of 4 is the same as 2 to the power of 2, then to the power of 2. Okay, this is for what we have here, right? then plus here we already have this as difference of two squares x to the power of two minus um x minus two to the power of two and everything is equal to zero okay so what do we do from here now we can express this as difference of two squares or better still, just turn this around so we have x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 because 2 squared is 4. Then plus here now we have x to the power of 2 minus 4, right? So this is 4 and I'll write my 4 and equate to 0. This is because I don't want to apply difference of two squares here anymore, right? So let's apply difference of two squares here. Let me put this in bracket. Then I have this. To apply difference of two squares here, we'll be having x squared plus 4. And then in the second bracket, we have um, x squared minus 4. Okay, then we have plus here we have x squared minus 4. And then we equate to zero by looking at this you will discover that s squared minus 4 is common to this two so x squared minus 4 will come out as a common factor here we have x squared plus 4 right then plus if x squared minus 4 comes out from here we'll have one left then we close this and equate to 0. Now we have x squared minus 4 as a common factor. 
Then here we have x squared plus 4 plus 1 as the next factor and we equate to 0. From here now, x squared minus 4 into, okay, into x squared plus 5 equals 0. So we can say that x squared minus 4 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. x squared will be equal to 0 plus 4, that is 4. Or on this side, x squared will be equal to 0 minus 5, and that is minus 5. Now, to continue from here, we have x squared, square root of that, equal to a positive or negative square root of 4. Okay, remember I'm coming back to pick this. Now, this and this can cancel. Now, x is alone, and it's equal to positive or negative square root of 4. 4 is a perfect square, so it's easy for us. Our x is equal to plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. So this means that x is equal to 2 or minus 2. Now, let's go straight to the next factor there. So from here, we have x squared. To be equal to negative 5 right so like we did we we'll take the square root of both sides plus or minus square root of negative 5 okay so this and this will go and x will be equal to plus or minus square root of negative 5 and because of the square root of negative number we'll have a complex solution from here so x is equal to plus or minus from the negative, we write imaginary i, then we write root 5. So this means that x from here is plus or minus i root 5. So this means that x is equal to i root 5 or negative i root 5. So let's bring the four solutions together now. Let's have the first one as x1 and it's equal to 2. The second one is x2 and it's equal to negative 2. Then the third solution is x3 and it's equal to i root 5. And then the fourth, x4 and it's equal to negative i root 5. So these are the four solutions. Like I told you from the start, We'll be, we were looking for the real solutions, which is this and this, and the complex solution, this and this. Thank you for watching.